Learning how to code has completely changed the direction in my approach to life and it's something that I recommend to everyone whether or not you're looking to pursue it as a career. And this is how I would learn to code from scratch without paying for an education. In June 2021, I decided that I was going to make the switch and for the next 15 months, I studied by myself, attended a boot camp, and then landed a role. I made a lot of mistakes at the beginning and to be fair, throughout my journey. And now that I've landed a role, I know exactly what I would do if I had to start all over again. Before you touch any keyboard, the most important thing, the most important thing, the foundation that will help you to learn how to code is having the right mindset. And that comes in three parts. The first being that you adopt a growth mindset. I'm willing to bet that one of the reasons why you click this video is because you're worried that coding isn't for you. Wrong. Coding, in fact, can be for you. A fixed mindset believes that coding is a natural talent and that you either have it or you don't and you'd only be willing to pursue it if you have it. A growth mindset, however, is having the belief that not only coding, but anything can be learned and improved upon. And that by constantly leaving your comfort zone and pushing yourself that you can reach new heights and that you can make a new, better version of yourself. There are so many things out there and no one knows everything. And you need to have a growth mindset if you're looking to learn on your own. I remember I was out with a group of people once and someone said that they had a picture of a pair of shoes that they wanted to order but they'd lost the link of the actual web page to order the shoes from. So I was like, why don't we try and reverse search for the image? Everyone around me was saying, oh, you can do that? And I said, I don't know, let's find out. And that's when I realized not everyone uses the internet to try and solve their daily problems and the coding mindset is really important because you need to believe that there's a solution out there for any problem that you have. Whether it's a 10 second Google away or you're scrolling hours through an obscure Russian forum, you need to fundamentally believe that you can find a solution. The computer is never wrong. When I was first learning how to code and I was putting some code together and when I was trying to execute that code and it wasn't working, I'd find myself blaming the computer. Stop beefing the computer. You need to go back to your code and review what you're doing wrong and try and find the issue. If you can accept that fact and stay humble, well, you're well on your way on your coding journey. One of the big questions that always comes up is what language should I learn or what programming language should I concentrate on and yada yada yada. Programming languages are just tools that we use to solve our problems. We use them because rather than spending hours trying to solve our issues, instead we use computers to solve them in a fraction of a second. The really difficult part is the problem solving and that's what engineers are doing most of the time. We think of solutions, therefore we code. With that being said, there are some languages that can help you teach the coding concepts that you need and also allow you to market yourself a lot better. This will come to no surprise to many of you as the languages that I'm thinking of are JavaScript and Python. Most people will say go for Python, but in my personal, very biased opinion, I think JavaScript is the one that you should go for. And you'll see why. You need to start with the basics, learning about types, specifically strings and integers. And then you can move on to control flows like functions, if else statements and loops. Once you've got a good grasp of those, move on to data structures like hash maps and arrays. And if you're feeling up to it, learn some recursion. Once you've got a good understanding of JavaScript, then you can move to a front-end framework like React and a back-end framework based on Node like Express.js. You can learn both the front end and the back end without learning a new language. See why I'm biased? Just in case you didn't know, a full stack application is a front end, a back end, something that connects the two and a database. Two really popular tech stacks that are used for full stack web applications are MERN and PERN. And in terms of connecting the front end and the back end so that they can talk to each other, I would highly recommend using the REST API mode. For your database, you can use Postgres or MongoDB depending on what you want. For the backend server and database, you can host these locally, but to reap the full learning benefits, see if you can host it on any cloud provider, just as they do in industry. For bonus points, see if you can use TypeScript. It's JavaScript, but typed, you really impress a lot of people with that. The biggest mistake beginners make when they're trying to learn how to code is by constantly watching tutorials and hoping that they absorb that information somehow. And that's far from the case. You've got a limited amount of time when you're trying to learn how to code and you're best spent using that time trying to build 
projects. Coding is a very hands-on skill and the best way to learn is by applying yourself and with what you know now, you can build a full stack project. The project can be based on anything that you're interested in. You can create a power ranking for your fantasy league that updates as soon as the last game of the week is played. You can make an application that notifies you as soon as a flight to a certain destination drops below a certain price. You could make a website that generates a random anime quote, the world is your oyster. If you still need advice on what to make, why not make a to-do list? This app should take some text and every time the add button is clicked, it should add a new to-do in your database. Your app should be able to read all the to-dos that are currently in the database. It should allow you to edit or update a to-do or delete it once you're done with it. And that's what's known as a CRUD app. Learning your way around a terminal and learning Git will give you an edge that most juniors or graduates won't have. Remember before a deadline when an assignment was due and you spent the whole night working on it and an hour before the deadline, you lost it all because you didn't press save once? No? What? Was that just me? Well, imagine that it did happen to you. I was kicking myself for not saving constantly throughout the night. And that's what Git basically does. It saves checkpoints of your work. The basics, specifically Git clone, Git pull, Git commit and Git push will help you get pretty far. I learned Git through a game that's free to download and it helped accelerate my understanding of Git and taught me some basic terminal command. The game is called All My Git and I highly recommend it. You mess up with a few Git commands and you're now at jeopardy of losing all your work. Don't worry about it. Dang it Git to the rescue. Dang it Git helps you get out of some really bad situations by providing the Git commands that you need through plain English. It has saved me a lot of times. Just remember, submit to the commit. This part of the coding journey is the toughest if you're looking to get a full-time job preparing for the interview. You hear about it all the time. Coding interviews are notoriously hard, but if you've made it this far, that means you're nearly there and you just need to push a bit more. You need to know your way around strings, arrays, trees, graphs, objects or hash graphs, stacks, heaps and more. You also need to know algorithms too. I don't like doing free promo, but I highly recommend going through Nico's channel to learn how to tackle these leak code questions. The reality of the situation is the more hours you can put into this daily, the quicker you're going to learn. Maybe you have other commitments that will allow you to invest the time that you would like to invest. So to ensure that you can learn as quickly as possible, Make sure that you apply yourself whenever you learn anything. Build a small project. Be curious and tinker around with the things that you've learned and see what you can do with it. The best coders that I have ever met are the most curious. They always want to know what's going on under the hood and they try to break things for the thrill of it. Fail as quickly as you can because you will fail and dust yourself off even quicker. Find a community where you can work on projects and find people that you can learn from. There's a famous African verb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go to get. Learning to code is one of the best decisions I've ever made. It's powered me to a level that I didn't know was possible and the coding mindset has leaked to every aspect of my life and subsequently has improved it for the better. And honestly, I think everyone should have that experience. Remember, it's always the journey before the destination. Enjoy the present and the journey that you're going through. Where you end up isn't really important, but what is important is everything that you gain throughout your coding journey. Anyway, this is Mohammed. I hope this video is beneficial and I'll see you guys in the next one, inshallah. Thank you.